This is one thing that I've always disliked about survival horror, except Dino Crisis, which does it right. I hate how they come back. If it's not going to give me experience, right, you know what I mean? If I'm not going to level up from fighting them, then the monsters in a game should not come back. You know what I mean? It should just well, be an it's... area I cleared. Well, I think the problem with that is that, like, at least in this game, if you're not thinking about it actively, you could run through the same area, like, 20 times, and then at that point it gets stale. So they, they, I think they bring them back a little bit of time to make sure that you're I still... I guess it's fair, and it's not like your weapons break, so... I feel that. But, like, that's one of my biggest complaints about Dead Island 2. Like, I love Dead Island and Dead Island the Riptide and Dead Island 2. But my biggest complaint about that whole series is that it's like... I can't just clear an area of zombies. You know what I mean? It's like, if you clear it, they just respawn immediately. It's like... I think it, I do think it works better for this game than what I was really trying to talk about, but in general, I don't like it in games. I think that's what you're supposed to break the wall on, aren't you? Yeah. There's just too much bullshit in here, Anita. I think they're dead. Son of a bitch. Oh, I love that Second it's... Second bracelet. In the wall. And covered in blood. That's great. Nope. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> he just biffed it into the room. <laughs> he literally looked like me a couple of days ago. Oh, by the way, did I tell you I uh, almost got a concussion? That you fell down the stairs? Yeah. You told me like yeah. three times. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. Oh, no, I've done it again since then. This happened like three days ago. It's funny because every time you say this, you bring it up every recording session. So I can't, I don't know if you do have a concussion. You just haven't noticed it yet and it hasn't gone away. <laughs> or like what? Oh no, I, I fall down the stairs like weekly. I just don't normally hit my head, but I've done it twice now in the last month. I think you should uh, get that checked out. I got a CT scan. I'm good. No, I'm into falling down. <laughs> oh, that's because I get drunk and then I try to pet my cats when they're sitting on the stairs and then I lean too far and just kind of roll down the stairs like an Dude, asshole. You scare the shit out of your cat as you tumble down the stairs. Oh, I do. Usually I hit the bottom of the stairs and then I have one or two of my two cats there right there at the bottom being like you good man <laughs> <laughs> you good meal ticket <laughs> you're like please don't die we'll starve <laughs> I gotta take this to the, the key room the key rooms up here but luckily I've avoided a concussion so far Luckily, we've loaded Sebastian back up, so we don't have to worry too much. That's the wrong one. Do you get that reference? Nope. It's a Kenichi reference. I don't know what Kenichi is. Oh, it's an anime. Um, it's about a kid that gets bullied, and then he becomes like a martial artist. But he gets trained at a dojo of like seven people who are just sadists and train him like well basically torture but his dad is hmm. like i'm gonna go save my son from all those weirdos at the dojo and he pulls out a shotgun that comes out of like their <laughs> grandfather clock he's like sebastian but i think later in the series he ends up having like three different guns which is really funny <laughs> Oh shit. Isn't Sebastian the name of the lead character in Black Butler too? I think it is. However, I've never seen it. I just know it's like a Yaoi thing. It's not a I mean, yeah, it is a Yaoi, but it's not like like a hentai or anything. It's like I've no one has ever described the actual plot to that show ever. No you one. You want me to give you a rundown? 
There's a kid named Sebastian. I didn't want his it. parents are <laughs> his parents die and they leave him in the care of a demon. It, the option was to save him or to guard him. Or to save them or to guard him. So leave him in the care of the demon. The demon's name is Sebastian. That's right. There we go. Um so he and the demon grow up together and he does have like a yaoi kind of like the demon is a like incubus but he won't have sex with sebastian because it's like he's too young or anything and like he won't like make any kind of move on him but he is like hyper defensive of him and stuff and then the main crux of the story actually is that they eventually meet another young man who has a demon butler and then it's kind of like that's the main antagonist of the story. Interesting. It's not nearly as sexual as you would think it is. It's much more dramatic and uh, violent at times. You still good? But no. Guess what you say? <laughs> oh, that is Maria. Oh yeah, I forgot about Maria entirely. We've been recording for what, like an hour and a half now, <laughs> and thirty minutes. We've been recording. Are for you 30 serious? Thirty minutes. Yes. <clears throat> I knew that. <laughs> I'm starting to think you you've fallen one too many times. <laughs> Where are we? At least, we? At least I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? So I don't have any key stuff anymore. Fuck. M. Do we have circles? Combination lock. X-ray viewer. General, okay, so we, I think we did the basement. Do you see anything that I am not seeing? There's what a is question that keypad? Mark. The keypad. Oh, so for the keypad, we need the other x-ray. I think. Oh, oh no. okay. We need a four-digit combination for the keypad. Well, what are the four digits? Have we received any kind of, like... Blue? Also, something's coming towards you. No, that's just the elevator door. Oh, okay. I don't know. Let's see, because we would keep the keynotes. So, small... Note. Wait, we just had one that said keypad combination. That's fucked up. So yeah, it's three, five, seven, eight. That's that's fucked up. Jacob, Not is this even the playthrough where we realize that as drunk as I am, you're just really bad at puzzles? Is this the playthrough where we realize that? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, listen, I didn't read the name of the memo. I just looked at the picture. There's a breathing sound coming from that room. I think, I think that's the room. Nah, that's just me. I'm just hanging out in the background. Whoa. They fed me garbage and rotting oh. meat. Oh. They fed me garbage and rotting meat crawling with maggots thick with sinew. They made me bite down, the juices red and yellow hit the back of my throat. I choke and I gag and I vomit till my throat is sore. An aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out. They bathe me in filth and blood and piss and bile. They rub my human waste all over my body, my skin is as I peels off the wet paper. I beg them to stop, but they don't listen. And then they lock me up with him. He's always there, closer each time, and the rot, it comes with him. It goes within. It becomes me. Man, what kind of that weird is... fan fiction is this? That was, oh God. 
Oh man, do you have you ever watched X Files? Yeah, I've seen some of it. Yeah, there's an episode of X Files where he's like, uh, Mulder's investigating this like weird these like weird disappearances per usual.